Hi everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a vintage print from a fairly modern photo. So first things first is you want your photo that you want to apply this effect to. And you can open it by going to file and open and selecting your image. Now once you've loaded it into Photoshop, first things first is we want to change the colour to a sepia sort of tone, so like an old tone. So to do that if you go to the bottom right hand side you see a little circle that's black and white click that and click hue and saturation then we want to make sure that we've got color I selected then you're going to get this reddish tinge which we don't want it looks awful and so we're going to put the hue to 26 and the saturation to 19 now you can play around with the hue around 20 to 26 somewhere like there depending on your photo because it's always different now once you've got sort of tone like this we're going to duplicate um, the background layer, so go and drag it to new layer, or you can press Ctrl and J, like so. And we're going to go to filter, we're going to go to blur, Gaussian blur, radius of around 15, play around with it depending on your photo. Click OK. Now it's blurred out the main, um, the effects of her face and hair and her hands, which we don't want. So we're going to go to the eraser tool and just erase away that blurriness and a face, a hair like so so we get that and her hands now I'm just doing this really quickly the more time you spend on this the better it'll look so I'm not just paying much attention really like so now we've done that now the next thing is we're going to make a new blank layer so click the new layer icon and we're going to go to the rectangle marquee tool which is on the left hand side we're going to make a small little box in the top left hand corner we're going to go to filter we're going to go to render and clouds then press ctrl and t for free transform now we're going to make it the same size as our image and press the tick like so and then we're going to go and select the blend mode to overlay now depending on the clouds it's like random as you see if we take it off and on look, you'll see the effects now if it's over the face and you don't want it just select the eraser tool and then just take out the sort of face like that or any of the bits that you don't want it over um, so you see the effect which is quite nice which you'll find in old photos now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and create a new blank layer we're going to go and select our paintbrush you want a fairly um, soft paintbrush you want to select the colour white what we're going to do now is we're going to go around the edge and paint in white um, just not too far over the edge so it's like a sun bleached um, effect like this just being really quick now you can be totally random because we don't want it a straight line like so now if you just do this like that and there you go, you have your vintage picture from a fairly modern um, photo. So I hope you liked the tutorial. Um, you can add a lot more stuff to this if you want. Uh, so please comment, rate and subscribe. And please visit my website. And the link is going to be in the description box below. So please check that out. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.